left out the uh, Portugal chapter of this book, the first two chapters at least, and uh, the last few verses. But, you know, as I was praying this morning, I said, Lord, I can just have the second time I pray, I'm praying for myself. You know, it's not so easy. <laughs> There's so many things we like to come up in your own mind. You just not that you don't pray for other people. And we still love the Lord. And so um, these couple of thoughts came to my mind just quickly from the last the 48th verse. He says, You are witnesses to these things. And of course he's referring to Christ suffering with the glasses of the hand. He says, Behold, I send the promise of the Father unto you. And there's a but there. And it says, But tarry in the city of Jerusalem until you are endued with power from on high. And I was thinking about, I was thinking about it, daughter was just reciting. Now we know this was talking about the Holy Spirit, but sometimes when God comes and touches us, we have to press in and keep carrying until we get the full power or the full the fullness of the power. Okay, fullness of the power. And I'm not talking about speaking in tongues. I'm talking about fullness of the power that He has come to make us whole. We have to press on in. And I was just thinking, so whenever it is something in our hand that's pressing their way, I think it's our obligation to press with it. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. uh, I, was, I was thinking of the uh, story, it's been a few years ago, but you remember the story of that was on the, uh, they had two opposing teams, a brother, and the opposing team ran to a brother, one of the girls was running, and she fell and broke her leg. Well, the, somebody on the opposite team that was going against them picked her up and carried her over the finish line. So she could say she finished. You know what I'm saying? In other words, she wasn't worried about who got there first? Or who won? And it's not about what we win spiritually, you know, but it's about making sure our brothers and our sisters get over the finish line too. Yeah. I guess I'm just saying, yeah, yeah, yeah. Praise the Lord. And I was just thinking how beautiful it is that we have an opportunity to be strength. For some that may be weak in whatever way. It doesn't have to be, you know, the weak in the body. But see, all of these afflictions come and weaken our ability to do what we want to do. And so uh, sometimes we have to just carry, that means wait, until the power is fully manifested in our brothers and sisters. Is that all right? Yeah. All right. Praise the Lord. We, 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 we can't be all for ourselves. You know, I, when I come, you know, I want the Spirit of God to move and reign in my life. I want to feel His presence. And uh, I was thinking of a song that I sing to myself. <laughs> oh, God, that will not let me go. I rest my weary soul on thee. But I give thee back the life I owe, that it may richer full of thee. So what God gave me, I have to give back. Because I owe it to him. Hallelujah. And then my life will 
be richer when I give back what he's done for me. Praise the Lord. So just be encouraged to stretch your way that I heard the beginning of that song in a hymnal when it goes on to say, Oh, life is all you put my way, all my way. I yield my plenty and choice to thee. If you, if you have a life, whatever you have, then you can give it to him that he can use it for glory for somebody else to shine. Mm -hmm. Let that light be so somebody else can see the way. You don't have to use it for yourself. Because maybe you've got what that is. Pick up your daughter's money, affliction, test, whatever it is. Hold light that follows my way. If the light is following your way, then hold that light so somebody else can see it. And they can go in that direction also. He says, my heart restores its borrowed land. In other words, what you have, you didn't get. God gave it to you. Whatever strength you have, you didn't get. God gave it to you. And I was thinking of how uh, I'll never forget Sister Robinson come and <laughs> oh Lord, but she was right there to make sure that we made the journey. And so that's what I was doing at that time. Uh, I just want her to make the journey, not not before her, but with her. Not after her, but with her. Amen. She want to make the journey. That's just, it's not about walking. That's not the point. It's just about getting the presence of God to finish whatever He's doing in our life. Yes. You know, it doesn't matter where we walk, He goes past. Yes. But the point is, although we can walk in our hands, some of us bow and sit down under an under, uh, you know, the <laughs> to pray. It's not about that, but it's just about getting to God, getting His perfect will done, yes. getting it done. And so let's just be mindful uh, that, you know, do what the Lord says in season. Uh, he just told me something.
have the right, who's supposed to guide us on earth? You see? But you're not guiding us, others can't see. Oh, praise God. God bless you. God bless you. Wonderful day. Yes, 